So as I um, continue to watch my way through my watch list, I knocked out the rest of the Shimizu films. Um, last night I watched, obviously, um, women, Japanese women at the harbor. And then I watched the three other um, Hiroshi Shimizu films um, that are currently on the Criterion channel in order. So the next one, this is my favorite. This might actually be... This and Shozu A Cat and Two Women might be the favorite things I've watched so far. They're delightful. This one's called Mr. Thank You, or Aragato-san, and um, it's so cute. It's from 1936, and it stars Ken Uhura, Uhara as a um, bus driver who's driving from a rural mountain town down to Tokyo. Drives the bus down, and it's just one day in the life of this bus trip um, with the various passengers and the locals who are on the routes um, that he stops and, like, carries messages for. Um, at one point, there's these girls that come up, and they're like, can you please get us more records? Um, and he's like, what do you want? He's like, They're like, whatever they're listening to in Tokyo, we just need new records. And it's it's just a really adorable, lighthearted, um, on the surface, lighthearted, lovely thing about being a good person and, and being um, a the importance of connection in a community, but it's also this lovely um, ode to the resilience of people in um, a recession and in a changing time. Um, this was still during sort of a, a rough period in Japan. Um, Ozu made a, fil a few films about this sort of depression era as well. Um, it, it again has another um, layer of of um, social commentary as a girl, one of the passengers is a girl who's being sold by her parents into prostitution, basically. And um, there's this great moment where another one of the passengers basically says, like, hey, I think you might be able to help her out. Here's how. And when you watch the film, you'll see. Um, it's just it's just a really lovely film. And then it had this great ending where it was like, you know, this trip is only 20 miles, and look, what ha look how much happened. Um, imagine how, what there is in the whole world, and it's just like, cry. Um, so it's lovely. Again, it's called Mr. Thank You, and highly recommend it. Um, the next one was called The Messieurs and a Woman, and it's about two blind masseuse, masseuse, masseurs, masseuse, masseuse, massagers, whatever, you know, who go to a mountain retreat, and um, while they're there, uh, fall in love with a mysterious woman from Tokyo and investigate some thefts. And shenanigans ensue. Um, it's sort of a dramedy in that there's comedy aspects to it, but there's also a layer of um, sadness in its uh, evaluation of societal, you know, correctness and who you're allowed to talk with, who you're, who you're allowed to know. Um, it's a lovely film. The um, two actors playing the masseurs are quite funny and have great chemistry together. And um, there's an especially great bit at the beginning where they're being really critical of the way that blind people are treated. That was like fire. Um, and then the third film that I oh, it's from 1938. And then the third film I watched from 1941 is called Ornamental Hairpin. And it's set during the war. And basically it's about a soldier who is in, well, there's like multiple characters. Um, and the beginning of it is set in, uh, um, like a vacation spa in place. And, um, there's a professor who's just a curmudgeon and a whole bunch of women who have come for, um, geishas who've come for, a uh, repast. And, um, then there's some soldiers that come there. One of the soldiers accidentally cuts his foot on a hairpin that was left in one of the spa, um, pools by one of the geishas um and eventually it gets tracked down and they figure out who whose pin it was and then there's like a bittersweet love story up between the two of them and again culture clash not culture clash um um oh god class clash and and then it ends in a very bittersweet note as you would expect from a wartime romance um with also a look back on a different time in Japan's history um, and something that over the, you know, 60 years from when they opened up from being an imperial closed island to westernization, sort of a, a glimpse back on all the things that they know as the war 
is going to usher in more and more westernization, these traditions that are going to be lost. And um, it's just a beautiful, sad moment at the end of the film that was just gorgeous. Um, so all four of these films, the one I watched last night plus these three, by Hiroshi, Hiroshi Shimizu are available from Criterion in a set called Travels with Shimizu. And um, they're just delightful. And then you also you can watch them on Criterion Channel right now. And I recommend them. They're sweet and lovely and very humanist. And um, especially, especially Mr. Thank You. Like, I'm so glad I found that movie. It was lovely. Um, so I don't know what else I'm going to watch. I have so much more Japanese cinema to watch. You know, okay, the thing is, I was going to watch Japanese cinema in December. That was my entire plan for December. And I have to, like, reevaluate my entire life to get all this Japanese cinema in. Um, but it's Halloween, so have a good time. Eat candy. Um, remember, tomorrow is November. November 9. Very exciting. Have a good night.